Winter's winding down, sort of, but the cold season is in full swing. Millions are turning to over-the-counter remedies like Zycam. It claims it can shorten a cold's duration. But as medical editor Marianne Childers reports, some users say it has an unwelcome side effect. When Quint Bridenstine makes his special spaghetti dinner, he can't smell it. It looks like a delicious pasta sauce, but yeah, there's just nothing there. Quinn says he lost most of his sense of smell a year ago after using the popular over-the-counter cold remedy, Zycam. I felt a, a, a tingling, burning sensation in my sinuses. Immediately, I noticed that I had, there was something wrong with my smell. We first reported about Zycam and smell loss three years ago. At that time, the FDA told us it had received several dozen reports of complaints and was carefully evaluating them. Now we've learned from FDA records we obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, there have been 292 reports of smell loss where Zycam is the primary suspect. Most of them filed since our original report. Many people are taking their complaints to court. In 2006, Zycam's manufacturer, Matrix Initiatives, spent $20 million to settle more than 350 lawsuits under a confidentiality agreement, so details of the cases cannot be discussed. Grant Dixon has represented clients in lawsuits against Zycam. I might go out and use one of those products tomorrow and not know that there's something wrong with it and be injured the same way. And that's a business decision that Zycam makes, but it's a dangerous one for the rest of us. Zycam's maker insists the product is safe, saying in a statement to us, Matrix continues to believe that Zycam cold remedy intranasal gel does not cause loss of smell, and that claims to the contrary are scientifically unfounded and misleading. Matrix says that infections, disease, trauma, and even colds themselves cause smell loss. Smell and taste experts agree, but add that except in rare cases, it's usually temporary or partial with the Zycam users they have seen. The smell loss appears to be long-lasting. That is, it's not just transient. Questions also continue because of a regulatory loophole. Zycam is a homeopathic remedy, so it does not have to go through the FDA's rigorous testing and approval process. Its active ingredient is a soluble form of zinc. The mineral was linked to smell loss back in the 30s when doctors used it unsuccessfully to fight the polio virus. It's used today to destroy smell in laboratory animals by damaging the nose's sensitive smell receptors. They can grow back, but there's no guarantee. Clearly should be a warning saying, you know, there's a chance if you use this that you can lose your sense of smell forever. Quint Bridenstine, who can't smell smoke, leaking gas, or even rotten food, wants more than that. I don't want anybody to use this ever again mm -hmm. because I know what it can do. Zycam's maker says its active ingredient, zinc gluconate, is a form of zinc that's safe and effective when used according to directions. A company spokesman tells me the claims of the product causing smell loss have no validity and says no mention of smell loss is included on the package label because the science doesn't show it. The FDA tells us that under its policy it can't comment on its investigation, but the agency says it can take a number of actions to respond to injury caused by homeopathic drugs, including drug recall, labeling changes, and issuing health advisories. Diane? Okay.